One topic that we have not addressed until now is the verification part. So far, in terms of verification, we've only compiled the system C code and, and run what's called a behavioral simulation or a, ti a loosely timed simulation. Now, after high-level synthesis, we can do a RTL simulation, a Verilog simulation, or we can also do what's called a cycle accurate simulation. For this, the high-level synthesis tool that we are using allows the possibility of creating what's called cycle accurate models. These are models that behave exactly the same way as the RTL, but cycle accurately. For this, we can go to the model generators, and now we choose the cycle accurate model generation in System C. Now, this will generate another System C program that behaves, rep behaves exactly the same way, basically replicates the behavior of the RTL cycle accurately. So, for that, we choose the FIR design again, the one, the same design that we've synthesized, and we select the different options in order to create a test bench and in order to dump the internal and the external ports into a waveform into a waveform format into a vcd file value chains format in this case we select the port signals only dump program variables for debugging the port signals only and this when we simulate this model it will create a vcd file uh, that we can see with a um, vcd file viewer in this case we choose just random data generation we can also specify the inputs to be read, for, read from the file or from the function and we can specify some other options like for example the number of inputs that we want to randomly generate so as shown in the dialog window we specify in this case uh, 256 cycles that we want to simulate and we select some other options for the test bench and now we can generate this cycle accurate model we ask the model generator to create this new system c file that models the behavior of the rtl cycle accurately we look at the cycle folder cycle accurate um, uh, simulation folder generated by the high level synthesis tool and you will see it has created the model and now it's calling g plus plus in order to compile this cycle accurate model because it's basically another system c file that can be compiled with any other c plus plus compiler we go to the model folder, we see it has created a make file and the new CPP files. We see the make file with the new system C files. And these are the CPP and the dot H files for the system C model. And again, this is a cycle accurate model. Now we can compile the model and we can execute the model. Now we've already compiled with G and now we're executing it. And we should see the simulation result on the console window. Now it is finished, end of simulation, and we will see that it is also generated a waveform file, a BCD file, value change dump file that we can open with a uh, waveform viewer. You see the waveform folder, you see it has created inside the model, you see the waveform, and we see the dot binary file generated after compilation, so it created the binary that we have just executed, and that's the BCD file where we want to we want to see the, the simulation signals, the result of the, sim of the ports. So we now open a uh, freely available waveform viewer, GTK wave in this case, and we select the signals that we want to monitor. We just drag the signals into GTK waves, waveform viewer, and we, sh we will be able to see the waveform of this cycle accurate model. You see, this is the timing, this is a cycle accurate simulation of the system C file. Find the system C code is just to create an RTL simulation and for that we need to create a test bench. So for that we create, we go now to the simulation scenario of the high level synthesis tool and we choose the RTL option. So we call this scenario sim RTL, we choose again the top model, in this case FIR, and now we will specify the similar option to what we did before, but in this case for the RT for an RTL simulation. We choose the test bench option, what kind of RTL simulator, in this case we need an RTL simulator, because uh, before we were using G++ to create the cycle accurate model, in this case we use Riviera from Aldec, and we select the options for the test bench, we built the test bench, and it, was, it creates the test bench generator, creates the Verilog files for the test bench. And now we're going to simulate the Verilog generated by the high level synthesis tool. It has created the, also not only the, the actual Verilog code for the test bench, but also the scripts for the specific RTL simulator that we're using. As I mentioned before, in this case, Aldex Riviera Pro. But it also supports VCS or Model Sim or any other 
RT commercial at RTL simulator. So this is the script to run that RTL simulator. Once we're happy with that, we can then launch the simulator. We just call the RTL simulator from within the high-level synthesis tool, and we will see that will execute it from the from within the high-level synthesis tool, the RTL simulator. and then runs the, act, the simulation. And similarly to the cycle accurate simulation, if we specify the option to dump a VCD file, it would also create a VCD file that we then can observe in the RTL simulator or in our case in the uh, in GTK Wave. So you see it has compiled the RTL sim, just finished the simulation correctly, and now we can see the results of the simulation. So you go into the Wave folder it has created a VCD file and we can reopen the same VCD file as we did in the cycle accurate simulation before but in this case after running an RTL simulation and we should be able to see the exactly same behavior as we did in the cycle accurate simulation. I hope you enjoyed this video regarding the timing verification of the synthesized system C description. Thanks very much for watching and drop me a line if you have any questions. Thank you.